Kelly Bolton was the dominatrix of my middle school and my neighborhood. She had these arms that looked like legs with hands attached at the end. She had this, this crazy red curly hair that probably glowed in the dark and it sprouted out of her skull in these like telephone cords. And she knew how to beat people up. And that's what I liked about her. She would go after the people I did not like and beat them to a pulp. And a lot of people didn't like me. I was not the cool kid. I, in fact, I was the really lame kid in the neighborhood. And Kelly was kind of my only friend. So we did not like people, Kelly and I. We, it was us against the world. We hated our parents, we hated our peers, we just hated society in general. And we liked to get into trouble and piss people off. And so, you know, for instance, we would spy on this one neighbor who liked to garden naked. And he was this gorgeous man in his 20s. And he, we, we had a wonderful time watching him. Um, <laughs> harvest those tomatoes and it brought us many great thoughts and 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 he also liked to watch these videos and we noticed that kelly's mom sometimes went over there and watched the videos too so we got really interested in what these videos were so we sneaked into his house we stole the video out of the vcr we popped it into our vcr and watched the first like seven minutes of schindler's fist and <laughs> And we were so horrified we didn't know what to do, so we decided we would um, bury it in the garden because that seemed like the logical thing to do. So we buried it under his pumpkins. But then we decided, no, he'll find it. So we went and we um, buried it in the garden of another neighbor who, um, <laughs> who lived in an, uh, there was a ravine and she lived across the, um, in an apartment complex. And I just want to take this moment to apologize to her when, if she was, um, you know, when she was digging out those carrots, if she happened to have uh, pulled out Schindler's fist instead. <laughs> so one day, it had rained really hard in Los Angeles. We lived in a suburb. And Kelly told me she was going to let me in on a secret. And I was pretty excited. I really like secrets. And she said, well, we got to, you got to take off um, you know, you have to take off your socks and shoes, and we have to hike down to the ravine because it's really good mud there today because it just rained. And we hiked down to the ravine, and the mud was fantastic. It would squish between your toes, and you'd lift your feet up, and it would make this like, you know, this like burping sound. And Kelly said, okay, I'm ready to tell you. I'm going to teach you how to beat up boys who are mean. And the key. I learned is I was not kneeing them in the balls properly. Um, I, I tend my, my motion was more forward, and I needed to work on more up. So, so she taught me how to do this. We practiced. We got covered in mud, and and I was feeling pretty good, like I can take out the boys, and um, and we and we then we start mud wrestling and. and not, and after a little while, I mean, Kelly, she looked like Godzilla. I mean, she had this, like, two inches of black skin of mud on her, and this, her hair, and the mud just, like, formed a helmet and around her head. And I'm sure I looked similar. And we, we get out of the ravine, and we're at the aforementioned apartment complex I told you about. And there is this beautiful, cerulean swimming pool. So we look at each other, we run across the street, or we more like waddle across the street because we're, we're so covered in mud. And we jump into the pool, and I mean, it's like the fountain of youth. We are, we are feeling good, we're sloughing off mud. Life is great. And um, the old lady neighbor comes out there, and she says, who are you kids? What are you doing in the swimming pool? And Kelly says, oh, well, we, we live 
we, we live over that way, and uh, we're married, and uh, we're in apartment number 12, and she, the lady says, no, there is no number 12, I'm calling the coppers. So Kelly is like, Peter, run! So we, we jog out of there, and, and, we, and at least in our mind, the chase is on, the cops are coming, what are we going to do? And so we don't know where to run, so we just start running, and there are these big muddy footsteps following us, and we end up at a gas station. And Kelly's like, we got to call somebody, what do we do? And so we ask the man at the gas station, oh, can we, can we call? we got to make a phone call. And he's like, well, do you have any money? And we're like... No, and then I say, Kelly, I got this plan. I'll knee him in the balls. <laughs> and, and she's like, no, no, not a good idea. I've, I've got another technique I'll, I'll show you. And she says, well, while, and she tells him, while I'm making the phone call, I'll take off my shirt and you can look at my tits while I'm making the phone call. And the guy was like, oh, that's, that's very acceptable. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. And so, Kelly makes this phone call, and we first try calling the naked gardener because he's kind of younger and we think he's kind of cool. Uh, but he's not home, so we call Kelly's mom. And um, she picks us up and we dive into the back of the car, and then behind, uh, behind us is a police car and its lights are flashing and we're like hiding in the back so the police officer won't find us and we get back home safely and we're relieved and Kelly's mom promises us she's not going to, to you know, she, 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 we're like, you can't ask us any questions and, and she promises us she won't ask us any questions. And I kind of felt like the moral of the story should have been, you know, oh, I learned to like my neighbors better or treat them better or, um, or, you know, I learned that Kelly's mom and my parents weren't the embodiment of evil. But no, the, the, I didn't learn anything. We, <laughs> we didn't get better. We, we didn't stop causing problems. In fact, I would say that was just the beginning of us terrorizing the neighborhood. Thank you very much.